His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Prime Minister of the Iraqi Kurdistan Regional Government, Masroor Barzani, who is on a visit to the country. The Prime Minister conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the President of the Kurdistan Iraq region, Nashir Van Barzani, and his good wishes to the Kingdom for further progress and prosperity, while His Majesty the King requested the Prime Minister to convey his greetings to the President. His Majesty welcomed the Prime Minister and reviewed various aspects of the strong bilateral fraternal relations and ways to support and develop them in all fields for the benefit of the two brotherly peoples. They also discussed regional and international issues of common interest. For his part, the Prime Minister expressed his deep thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the hospitality and good reception. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace, the head of the Department of External Church Relations of the Moscow Patriarchate, His Eminence Metropolitan Antonius, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty welcomed His Eminence and the accompanying delegation and praised his efforts in spreading the culture of interfaith dialogue and promoting the values of goodness and harmony. His Majesty expressed pride in the Kingdom's long history of fraternity and coexistence as religious tolerance is a long-standing culture in Bahraini society thanks to its people's awareness and adherence to noble humanitarian principles and their respect for people of other religions. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain has built bridges of communication and sought to spread peace among all peoples, noting its leadership in adopting global initiatives that aim to promote a culture of rapprochement and coexistence for the benefit of all mankind. His Majesty reviewed with His Eminence a number of issues that contribute to spreading the culture of dialogue and commitment to moderation and rejecting extremism and radicalism. For his part, His Eminence expressed pleasure in meeting His Majesty the King and expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the appreciation, care and attention given to all religions in Bahrain without discrimination and the provision of places of worship for different religions, praising the Kingdom's efforts under His Majesty's leadership to spread the values of peace, coexistence and harmony among different peoples and religions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the CEO of American Mission Hospital, the AMH, Dr. George Sharian, accompanied by a delegation from Mayo Clinic in the U.S. on the occasion of the signing of a cooperation agreement between Mayo Clinic and King Hamad American Mission Hospital in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the CEO and the delegation and blessed the signing of the cooperation agreement between the two long-established medical institutions, which will contribute to further enhancing the quality partnership, exchanging medical experiences and expertise, and developing health services provided to patients. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of those in charge of the AMH and their keenness to provide the best health care services to citizens and residents, praising the good reputation of this medical edifice and the continuous development of its services and expansion of its activities and partnerships as one of the first leading hospitals in the region for more than 120 years. His Majesty highlighted that Bahrain is progressing with its ambitious plans to further develop the health sector, achieving notable successes and providing advanced, high-quality health services and building qualified medical and human capabilities in line with the highest international standards. 
His Majesty also praised the deep historical relations between Bahrain and the U.S., highlighting their strong joint cooperation in various domains. The CEO of the AMH expressed profound gratitude to His Majesty the King for the unwavering support and care that the hospital and its staff have received since its establishment many years ago in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which reflects the deep-rooted ties of friendship between Bahrain and the U.S., as well as the continuous efforts to further strengthen these bonds. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 104 of 2024 to create an excellent category for undersecretaries based on the Prime Minister's proposal and after the Cabinet's approval. A job category called Excellent Category shall be established and the granting of this category to undersecretaries shall be done by decree. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister of the Kurdistan region of Iraq, Masroor Barzani, at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of developing relations between the two sides to achieve mutual aspirations. He affirmed Bahrain's commitment to enhancing cooperation and joint coordination across various sectors to strengthen relations. During the meeting, ways to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation were discussed, as well as the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. For his part, Barzani expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's support of bilateral relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al Mbarak, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamid bin Faisal Malki, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met with the medical director of the Mayo Clinic Global Consulting, Dr. Brian Costello at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness praised the Kingdom's efforts in advancing Bahrain's healthcare sector, which supports the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He highlighted Bahrain's commitment to developing healthcare services across public and private hospitals, and as well as enhancing training for medical professionals through partnership with prestigious international institutions. His Royal Highness noted the importance of strengthening cooperation between Bahrain's medical sector and international medical institutions to improve the Kingdom's medical care and treatment services. He welcomed the cooperation agreement between King Hamad American Mission Hospital and the Mayo Clinic Care Network. This partnership will provide ex access to expertise, resources, consultations and training. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of enhancing healthcare services across both public and private sectors to ensure high quality care for all citizens and residents. For his part, Dr. Castello expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's unwavering commitment to developing the Kingdom's health care through public-private partnerships. He concluded by wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamid bin Faisal Malki, also attended the meeting.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met with the President and Chief Operating Officer of Crypto.com, Eric and Ziani, at the Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's commitment to advancing the financial services and digital technology sectors, both of which are priorities that contribute to supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He highlighted the significance of digital transformation in driving progress across key economic sectors to realize the Kingdom's aspirations. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to attracting international companies across promising sectors, strengthening its regional and international position, and expanding growth across various industries. He highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to fostering an environment that enhances investment in financial technologies. His Royal Highness then received the company's new MasterCard prototype from the President, which will be issued by the company, and it's regarded as the first of its kind in the Middle East. And for his part, the President concluded by expressing his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and extended his wishes for the Kingdom's continued progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Khalid Ahmedan, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding Bahrain National Days and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. According to the circular, all ministries, government agencies, public bodies and institutions will be closed on Monday and Tuesday, corresponding to the 16th and 17th of December 2024. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa issued Edict 59 of 2024 amending certain provisions of the regulations on salaries, employment benefits and eligibility criteria for employees under the civil service law as established by Edict 77 of 2013. The amendments proposed by the Civil Service Bureau are as follows. A third paragraph shall be added to Article 2 of the Regulations on Salaries and Benefits for Employees Governed by the Civil Service Law, issued under Edict 77 of 2013, along with a new paragraph in Article 5 of the same regulations as follows. The CSB is authorized to determine the initial salary of undersecretaries and equivalent positions granted the exceptional grade, provided that their salary does not exceed the minimum basic salary of ministers. The annual periodic increment shall be granted to undersecretaries and equivalent positions granted the exceptional grade provided their salary, including this increment, does not exceed the minimum basic salary of ministers. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received the Prime Minister of the Kurdistan region of Iraq, Masroor Barzani, in the presence of a number of senior officials. His Highness praised the bilateral relations in various fields, stressing the importance of enhancing cooperation between the two sides, opening new horizons, and strengthening partnership at various levels. During the meeting, they reviewed the strong relations between the two sides and means of developing bilateral cooperation at various levels, in addition to exchanging views on a number of issues of common interest. For his part, the Prime Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's leadership's keenness and interest in enhancing the cooperation between the two sides to achieve more progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, chaired the weekly meeting where the Council approved a draft law on opening pharmacy branches to allow the opening of an unlimited number of branches instead of five. The Council also approved a draft law ratifying an agreement between Bahrain and Hong Kong, which aims to enhance economic cooperation between the two parties. The Council then approved 10 proposals on work to localize the jobs of Arabic language, Islamic education and social studies teachers in private schools, separating the wife's finances from the husband so that her ownership does not affect the husband's eligibility for housing services and taking quick measures to curb the phenomenon of foreign labor flight. 
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, stressed that Bahrain adheres to human rights values and principles in accordance with the Constitution and the National Action Charter, in line with the vision and directives of His Majesty the King. He pointed out that His Majesty's approach in deepening all human and national rights contributes to the consolidation of social justice. As Saleh praised the government's keenness to develop and implement effective strategies and programs that highlight the growing progress of the kingdom's human rights record. He praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the government's continuous efforts that emphasize and protect the rights of all members of society. On the occasion of the International Day for Human Rights, the chairman pointed out that the kingdom is keen to protect human rights through legislation and laws that guarantee civil, political, religious, cultural, and social rights. He emphasized that the legislative authority spares no effort to strengthen national legislation in the field of human rights. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received at Libya Palace India's Minister of External Affairs Dr. Subramaniam Jashankar on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the 4th India Bahrain High Joint Committee meeting. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani and the Minister of Industry and Commerce Abdullah Fakhro. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah emphasized that the advanced level of relations between Bahrain and India stems from the strong bonds of friendship throughout history. He added that these bonds have resulted in qualitative and distinguished ties in various domains, reflecting the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Deputy Premier emphasized the importance of continuing to build on the constructive cooperation with India through joint coordination to explore new opportunities, especially in investment and trade exchange. He highlighted Bahrain's commitment to further strengthening cooperation with India under and wished the meeting success in achieving its goals. He also praised the active role played by the Indian community and their contributions to the development process in Bahrain. During the meeting, the two sides discussed several topics of mutual interest and the latest regional and international developments. The Indian minister expressed gratitude for Bahrain's commitment to further advancing the bilateral relations. He emphasized India's interest in enhancing cooperation, particularly in education, tourism and food security. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received a delegation from the Federal Ministry of Interior of Austria, led by the Director of the Criminal Intelligence Service of Austria, Andreas Holzer. The meeting was attended by the Deputy Minister of Interior and the Head of Public Security. The Minister welcomed the Austrian delegation and emphasized the importance of their visit in further strengthening security coordination between the two countries. He highlighted that Bahrain's security and stability is a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision and the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He affirmed that efforts to enhance community security would continue within a framework of constructive community partnership. In January 2024, the ministers of interior from both countries signed a declaration of intent aimed at enhancing security cooperation, specifically focusing on law enforcement and criminal justice collaboration. The declaration outlined a framework for mutual communication and coordination between the two ministerial departments. The meeting discussed cooperation in combating organized and economic crimes, focusing on capacity development and learning from Austria's experience and using artificial intelligence for crime fighting. They explored ways to enhance international collaboration to address evolving security challenges. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in Bahrain's national celebration at the Bahraini Embassy in Malaysia. The event commemorated the Kingdom National Holidays and the anniversary of the accession of His Majesty the King to the throne. Upon arrival, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed was greeted by Bahrain's ambassador to Malaysia, Dr. Walid Al Mana, along with embassy staff and diplomats. The chairman exchanged congratulations, praising Bahrain's growth and prosperity across various fields. He attributed this success to his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wisdom and vision and the development plans of the government led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the determination and loyalty of Bahrain's people. He also highlighted the growing friendship and cooperation between Bahrain and Malaysia, emphasizing their shared values and goals. On the occasion of the International Human Rights Day, coinciding with the 40th anniversary of the UN Convention Against Torture, the Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bayani delivered a statement in which he emphasized Bahrain's commitment to promoting and protecting human rights. He highlighted the Kingdom's significant achievements in advancing human rights under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Dr. Bayani noted that the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights is fundamental in safeguarding rights and public freedoms, adding that Bahrain has committed to this declaration and other international covenants to establish justice and equality and promoting the values of tolerance and coexistence. 
He emphasized that Bahrain's adherence to international covenants has made it a regional and international role model in protecting rights and preserving freedoms. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, praised the achievements of Bahrain as a leading model in respecting human rights under the leadership of His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. This came on the occasion of the celebration of International Human Rights Day and the 76th anniversary of the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, where the Foreign Minister praised the country's honorable and sustainable human rights achievements. He also praised Bahrain as an example of political and democratic development reflected in the national consensus on the National Action Charter, noting the strengthening of the rule of law and cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. He noted that Bahrain enjoys modern and pioneering legislation at the level of the region with the application of the alternative sentences and the open prisons program and laws that support women's rights. He noted that Bahrain maintains its advanced position regionally and globally in the fields of human rights, e-government and digital transformation. He expressed his pride in the wise diplomatic approach of His Majesty the King, which has prompted respect for human rights, dignity, education, health, and knowledge. He praised His Majesty's initiatives in support of human solidarity and brotherhood and spreading the culture of peace and tolerance by establishing the King Hamad Prize for Peaceful Coexistence, calling for the adoption of an international convention to criminalize hate speech and reject extremism and violence, and calling on His Royal Highness to adopt an international treaty to regulate and govern the development of artificial intelligence and enhance the utilization of modern technologies. The Kingdom of Bahrain is celebrating International Human Rights Day, which highlights the Kingdom's achievements in the human rights field and the consolidation of justice and the rule of law. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain believes in the importance of supporting human rights and the rule of law. From this perspective, the Kingdom is committed to protecting human rights by strengthening the rule of law and judicial integrity. Bahrain was the first Arab country to ratify international human rights treaties, reflecting its commitment to the dignity and rights of its citizens and residents within its constitutional and legal frameworks. The National Human Rights Plan, launched by the Cabinet, aims to achieve the desired comprehensive and collective goals, especially in the areas of legislation, institutional development, and capacity building. Bahrain also focused on equal opportunities between men and women in all fields through the Supreme Council for Women, which has contributed to empowering women and guaranteeing their rights. And to ensure the rights of children, the Kingdom has launched several laws regulating children's rights, which are guaranteed by the Kingdom's constitution. The establishment of the National Institution for Human Rights confirms the Kingdom's commitment to developing, promoting and protecting the human rights of citizens and residents, in addition to the diligent work of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking and Persons. The Ministry of Interior has contributed to many quality initiatives that come within an integrated and strong system, most notably the Alternative Sentences and the Open Prisons Program and many others, with the aim of safeguarding the rights of inmates, rehabilitating them and reintegrating them into society. And for more on this topic, we are joined over the phone by the Head of Detention and Utilities Visitation Committee at the National Institution for Human Rights, Dr. Malala Al-Hammadi. Hello and welcome, Dr. Malala. Coinciding with the International Human Rights Day, this year we also celebrate the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. How do you view the development of the human rights file in Bahrain? Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, Bahrain has witnessed significant developments in the field of human rights under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, especially considering with the silver jubilee of his accession to the throne. Uh, during this period, extensive steps have been taken to enhance national mechanisms for human rights and to develop laws and policies that promote the protection and respect of human rights. Some of key developments, uh, establishment of national mechanism for human rights. In this regard, National Institution for Human Rights, uh, Ombudsman, uh, Prisoners and Detainees Rights Commission, uh, Special Investigation Unit, uh, Office of the uh, General Inspector, uh, Juvenile Justice Law, Alternative Sanctions and Open Prisons Program. Uh, programs actually for alternative sanction have been developed aimed at reducing reliance on imprisonment, enabling uh, convicts to continue their professional and social lives. On the other hand, uh, the open prison program aims 
to rehabilitate prisoners and achieve effect, effective social integration. Leadership's commitment to uploading the human rights principle and values, uh, the commitments of Bahrain leadership, Bahraini leadership towards human rights are evident through continuous investment in developing laws and practices and achieving alignment with international standards. With the celebration of human rights, they considering with the King's Silver Jubilee, Bahraini's commitment to enhancing and protecting human rights and acknowledging the significant importance of these issues in achieving sustainable development and social justice is clear. Head of Detention and Utilities Visitation Committee at the National Institution for Human Rights, Dr. Malala Al-Hamadi, thank you for joining us. The fourth ministerial meeting of the Joint Higher Committee between Bahrain and India was held under the chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of External Affairs of India, Dr. Subramaniam Jashankar. In a speech at the meeting, the foreign minister expressed his happiness at the conve convening of the Joint Higher Committee, which confirms the joint determination to push the march of cooperation and strategic partnership between the two countries towards broader horizons. He said that the meeting of the Joint Committee comes as a culmination of years of serious political work to expand opportunities to promote and develop joint cooperation between the two countries at all levels. The minister also praised India's consistent positions towards just Arab causes and its continuous support for efforts to achieve a just and comprehensive peace in the Middle East. For his part, the Indian minister expressed pleasure to participate in the meeting, which reflects the strong bonds of friendship between the two countries that have been formed between the societies of the two countries over decades. At the end of the meeting, a joint statement was issued in which both sides emphasized that the regular meetings of the Joint Higher Committee reflect the strength of bilateral relations between the two countries. The two sides praised the progress made in bilateral relations through the joint meetings and agreed to continue the high-level bilateral visits and meetings. The two sides expressed gratitude for the stability, sustainability, and diversification of bilateral trade relations and agreed to work to further strengthen these relations. The two sides welcomed the launch of the first round of negotiations on bilateral investment treaty and agreed to work towards its conclusion as soon as possible. The two ministers expressed satisfaction with the significant increase in tourism between the two countries and its impact on strengthening ties, trade and economic relations. The two sides agreed to hold the fifth meeting of the Joint Committee in India, the date of which will be determined through diplomatic channels. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, participated in the meeting of the 20th session of Executive Office of Arab Information Ministers' Councils in Abu Dhabi under the chairmanship of Saudi Arabia's Information Minister and Chairman of the Executive Bureau, Salman al -Dusari. Dr. Naimi emphasized that the vision of His Majesty the King and the Directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister are always pushing to work towards strengthening joint Arab solidarity and raising the levels of cooperation between Arab countries in all fields, which was translated by the outcomes of the 33rd Arab Summit. The minister reiterated Bahrain's commitment to support endeavors and efforts to continue strengthening the process of joint Arab media cooperation in line with the rapid changes and current regional and international challenges. He emphasized the importance of the pivotal role played by the Arab media, calling for the need to adopt qualitative initiatives that enhance its presence and enable it to fulfill its role and deliver its message with honesty, accuracy and responsibility. The executive office recommended the continuation of media support for the initiatives launched by His Majesty the King at the Bahrain summit. It also discussed a number of topics and issues on its agenda. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, chaired the final 2024 Youth Empowerment Committee meeting at the Bahraini Scientific Center for Sustainable Development Goals. She emphasized the importance of the National Youth Empowerment Strategy, highlighting the achievements in the youth sector under the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in supporting youth and enhancing their societal roles, which has led to youth reaching important leadership positions and achieving significant successes. The meeting discussed updates on implementing committee decisions and proposals from the committee's working group.
The Minister of Social Development, Osam al-Alawi, received the head of the Department of External Church Relations of the Moscow Patriarchate, His Eminence Metropolitan Antonius, and the accompanying delegation on the sidelines of their official visit to Bahrain. The minister briefed His Eminence on the noble initiatives of His Majesty the King, supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and their positive impact towards promoting and respecting religious and cultural freedoms and diversity. For their part, his, his Eminence and the accompanying delegation expressed their appreciation for the efforts exerted by Bahrain in promoting the values of tolerance and dialogue, stressing the importance of continued coordination and cooperation on issues of common interest, which contributes to consolidating peaceful coexistence between religions and cultures and serves humanitarian causes. They wish the kingdom and its people continued progress and prosperity. The Special Investigation Unit organized a discussion session entitled Human Rights in the Criminal System in Bahrain, Manifestations, Experiences and Future Prospects in cooperation with the UNDP. This session comes in conjunction with the International Human Rights Day and the 40th anniversary of the adoption of the Convention Against Torture and other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment by the UN. It aims by st to strengthen the rule of law, consolidate justice, protect human dignity, highlight the achievements in the field of human rights, protection in the criminal system in Bahrain, review experiences and raise the level of cooperation and joint coordination between the concerned parties. As part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's presidency of the current session of the Arab Summit, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is closely monitoring the events unfolding in Syria with the aim of ensuring the well-being of the country. This is in line with Bahrain's commitment to Syria's sovereignty, independence, territorial integrity and the safety of its people. The Ministry expresses Bahrain's sincere wishes for the Syrian people, hoping for continued security, peace, growth and prosperity. It also reaffirms the Kingdom's support for the aspirations of the Syrian people for security, stability, reconstruction and sustainable development.